Hello everybody, today I'm going to be going over TriHackMe's Network Security Room that is a part of the Introduction to Cybersecurity module. As usual, this is going to be more of a demonstration than an explanation, however, I will briefly go over what is inside of the tasks, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Task 1 is just an introduction, and it basically gives a definition about what a computer network is, and what might be inside of a computer network, such as the hardware appliances, and it gives some examples of those. Scrolling down, it also gives some examples of some software security solutions, and it also gives us a little bit of information as well. Again, I don't want to go through this line by line, just because I think they did a really good job with this room. It's definitely a great room for beginners, and I believe that if you're serious about learning about cybersecurity, it would be better for you to read it yourself. Anyway, moving on to the questions. What type of firewall is Windows Defender Firewall? It is a host firewall. And we can find that answer right here and it gives a definition about what that is again I'll leave that to you in task 2 it talks about methodology and it uses the Lockheed Martin cyber kill chain and the seven steps that are in there recon weaponization delivery exploitation installation command and control and actions on objectives again I'm not going to go through this bit by bit I'll leave that for you Moving on to the questions, during which step of the cyber kill chain does the attacker gather information about the target? That would be recon, the first stage. All right, moving on to task three, practical example of network security. We're going to go ahead and start the machine as well as start the attack box. All right, it looks like it's all loaded up. I'm going to go ahead and click X on this. I'm just going to go ahead and make it full screen as well. Alrighty, and let's take a look at the questions and see what we need to do. They do a very good job of walking you through it step by step, um, but I like to show what it looks like in practice. So let's go on to the questions. What is the password in the secret.txt file? Alright, let's go ahead and open up a terminal. And just like I talked earlier, the first step in attacking a computer is doing a little bit of recon to find out some information. So we are going to scan the IP address of the computer that we are attacking and that is going to be this IP address here. Yours is going to be a different IP address. Yours won't end in 131102. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy and we're going to be using nmap in order to scan. So I'm just going to type out nmap and then that IP address of the machine that we are attacking. All right, it looks like it's finished, and it looks like it has three ports open, 21, 22, and 80, and here it gives us the name of that service. In our case, however, we're going to be interested in FTP first. That stands for File Transfer Protocol, and it's used to transfer files between machines. And I guess I can go over the other ones briefly. SSH stands for Secure Shell, and it's used for Secure Remote Login. Basically, it allows you to execute commands on another computer securely. And then HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol, and it's used for the web. Um, whenever you're browsing the web, you're either using HTTP or HTTPS, which is the secure version. And by secure, I mean encrypted. But anyway, we're interested in FTP in this case. So what we're going to do is we are going to try to connect to the target FTP server by typing in FTP 10.10.131.102. Again, that IP is going to be different for you. We're going to click enter and it looks like it's connected and it's asking for the username. We are going to try anonymous just to see if it works. And in this case, it does. So now we are on that FTP server and we're signed in as anonymous. And we want to see what kind of files are available to us. So we're going to do ls, which is the list command. And these are the files that are available to us. So just looking through these, we see secret.txt. That kind of stands out to me. So I think we should grab that one. So we would do get secret.txt and here we can see that the transfer was complete and now that we have the files we can exit out of the FTP client 
going back to our own terminal. And if we do ls on our machine, we can see that secret.txt is there. So let's go ahead and open that up. So let's do cat secret.txt. Oh, interesting. It gives us a password. So what might this password be used for? Well, if we go back up to our first stage of recon, we can remember that SSH, that secure shell, is running on this machine, which means we might be able to remotely log in. So let's go ahead and use that password and see if we can SSH into the machine. Let's copy this. And what we are going to do is we are going to do SSH root at 10.10.131.102. 10, and let me explain this real quick. SSH, we're telling the computer that we want to SSH into this machine here, or this IP address, as root, which is kind of the, the administrator or the, the top dog of the machine. So we'll press enter on that. And it asks us whether we want to continue connecting. And we're going to type yes. And then we're going to press enter. And now we need to put in that password. And I will paste it in. Alrighty, and we have successfully logged in. And if we do a who am I, we can confirm that we are indeed signed in as root. So let's go back to those questions. What is the password in the secret.txt file? Oh, we actually already did that one. Let's go ahead and pull that back up. It's right here. Copy, paste. What is the content of the flag.txt in the slash root directory? Let's do an ls just to see kind of where we are or what is inside flag.txt. So let's do cat flag.txt. Alrighty, and that looks like the flag to me. So let's copy that and paste it in. And there we go. That is the answer. What is the content of the flag.txt in the slash home slash librarian directory? Well, let's see where we are first. We're going to do a PWD, which is print working directory. This will tell us where we are, and we are in slash root, which we could have surmised by just this question here, because it asked us for flag.txt in the slash root directory, and we found that already, so we should know that we're in the root directory. Now, because we are logged in as root, we have access to all the files on the machine, including other users' files. If we go back here, we can see it's looking in the librarian home, which is probably a user. So we're going to do cd to change directories to home. And now we're going to do an ls to see what's inside. Yep, we can see that librarian is there. So let's go ahead and cd into that. And let's do another ls to see what's inside. There's the flag, cat flag.txt, and there we go. We have that final flag. And we'll copy that, control C and control V. And there we go. We've finished the room. I hope that this room was helpful. It is a very simple room. It's for beginners. I learn best by watching somebody else do it. And this is a wall of text going through it. So hopefully this video helped you kind of get a visual representation of what it would look like. Um, if you like the video, please like and subscribe to see more. Thank you and have a good one.